Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited today to be able to show you our Orchestral Swarm Library. This is a library that we've created in collaboration with Hans Zimmer and Bleeding Fingers. Um, it's featured very heavily on the soundtrack to Blue Planet. In fact, it was the primary orchestral writing tool um, used for the creation of the score for Blue Planet. Um, and it's also featured quite heavily in the Radiohead and Hans Zimmer collaboration single, Bloom. So um, when we uh, went back to the beginning, we were discussing this with Bleeding Fingers and with Jacob and David, who were also co-composers on the score. Um, we started talking about concepts and they had a concept which was to take our swarm um, idea, but to actually develop this orchestrally and to come up with some different kinds of textures that specifically would help them in the kind of sound that they wanted to create for Blue Planet 2. So I'm going to just leap straight in and play some of this stuff. It's really, really cool. <laughs> it's one of the most exciting things that I've played with for quite a long time. So I have to I have to preface with that. Um, and I'll take you through all of the sections. We've got um, all of the kind of three main sections of the orchestra, the strings, the woods, the brass. Um, we've got all kinds of different swarms, a lot of stuff in fast and slow, but we've also got short notes as well so that you can kind of use those and you've got the balanced orchestra. Um, this was recorded in a um, in a quite a dry studio, really wonderful sounding studio owned by Mark Knopfler, and that's British Grove Studios um, in London. So you'll see that there are two different types of reverb on the front panel that you can use as well. I'm just going to start playing. You can have a listen and we'll go into more detail as we go. So here we go. We're going to start off with a short swarm on the high strings and I will be controlling the dynamics and also the variation, which is the speed in this in this patch. So you can hear what's going on there. We've got um, everything recorded at different dynamics and we've also got these two variations, the slow and the fast that you can gradually move between. Very similar to the um, to the mandolin swarm and the other swarms that you'll have, um, you'll have seen from us. Let's quickly jump over to the spiccatos um, because this is a good way for us to see exactly what we're hearing and what the different mics are and also how the reverbs work in, in uh, conjunction with these. So this is um, just as it comes out of the box, sounds like this. And if I take everything off, so there's no short verb, there's no long verb. So you can hear there, you, you're hearing the tree. Here's the close mic. Here are the outriggers. Here's the stereo stage mic. And here's the ribbon mics. So you get the idea. Let's jump back to the tree. Um, in fact, let's have a kind of standard, a standard kind of close in tree sound. So if we put a bit of this short, short in, you hear the difference. So that gives you a kind of, maybe like a kind of scoring stage, like a reasonably uh, reverberant scoring stage type of sound. Little bit of, um, a little bit of a nice kind of tail, nice early reflections. And then as we add in the long verb, which is, a, which is a kind of really beautiful, lush kind of hall type sound. You can really go all the way if you want, but maybe set it about halfway. So you can get, you know, you can use these to kind of um, get exactly the kind of sound you want. So that's a kind of slightly tighter sound. Um, and so that's quite flexible. So let's let's pop that back to roughly where it was when we started. Um, and let's have a listen to some of the other sounds in the library. So there's a second short swarm sounding like this. So here you can hear you've got slightly more of a kind of ricochet bow sound. Um, let's keep moving through. Flatando Swarm. Love this one. Mm -hmm. 
So really nice kind of gentle, slow flautandos moving along there. We've got fantastic spiccato-y, sol ponte type of sound. And as you can hear, again, you can kind of really go between very, very sparse and very full on there. Um, our harmonic swarm, obviously a slightly restricted range uh, due to the nature of the sound, but that play, play that up here. Lovely stuff. Short sparse whispers. That's a really nice, useful one. Pit Swarm. And you can hear me again going through the kind of uh, dense to sparse um, and moving the dynamics at the same time. This is one of our combo swarms. This is using a couple of different techniques at the same time. and some swells. And again, you can hear that you've got a combo, you've got some pizzicatos and some kind of little swelling sounds in there as well. Uh, let's jump back to the beginning. We missed out the first two because we started on the short. So this is the Tenuto Swarm. And finally, um, Consord, Soltasto, Swarm. So again, really kind of very, very gentle, whispery kind of sound, but, but with Tenuto bow strokes. So some lovely stuff in there. And I don't think I showed you the pizzicato. And again, let's go back. Let's take all of our verb off. So super, super tight and dry there. Um, let's leap onto the low strings. Now I'm not gonna go through every single sound in detail because you recognize a lot of these from the, from the previous patch, but let's have a listen to some of the key ones. So here we are back in our short swarms. Uh, let's check out our spiccatos. And let's take off our verb again, just so you can hear it completely dry. Let's jump back, put a little bit of the short sound on and hear the pits. So really good, very, very dynamic. Um, let's check out, actually let's check out our Tenuto Swarm. Spixol Pont Swarm. And if we check this out really down low. It does really kind of, uh, really does get your uh, juices going down there. Uh, the whispers are particularly lovely down here. Let's check these out.
um, and check out a couple of the combos. So you can hear that we the what you know with the same kind of theory of the other swarms um the idea was always how can you write something how can you kind of hold these beautiful long lines or create these lovely kind of textures within your chords in the background um without just using straightforward long notes that was always the idea it was how do we how do we uh, create something you can use? Um, obviously, you can use it kind of featured in a horror kind of setting or something like that, but also to create these kind of beautiful textures um, of kind of undulation and movement. And, you know, uh, with this, you know, the the um, fantastic idea that the guys had for Blue Planet 2 um, was to take this and for it to become the ocean, basically, to become water. Um, and and it really suits with the orchestral sounds, especially when we get onto the woods and, and brass, which we'll do now. Um, it really does give you that kind of feeling of seeing the movement of the water and the, you know, that kind of undulation of sound. But then within that, you've got a huge amount of different kind of texture and different types of sound um, so that you can kind of go super beautiful and gentle and soft or quite aggressive and heavy. Um, so it's a, a very, very interesting and useful alternative a kind of pointillistic thing an alternative for just using straightforward long notes within your compositions so let's jump over to bones and tubers and again we'll have a quick listen to a couple of key sounds and move our way through um, and show you what the uh, what the different content is in the library so we've just got the tree mics up at the moment here are short notes <laughs> And again, let's take the long verb off. And we go for our kind of our kind of ER. I don't really want to say ER because it's not strictly ER, but our kind of short verb. So it's a really nice sound. And then you can add in a bit of the hall. And you can obviously adjust those to taste. Um, so let's check out. So we'll go for the same one first, our stack swarm. Tenutos. Tongued. And we've got a kind of mordant um, swarm. So we've got semitone ones and whole tone. You'll hear that will kind of make more sense, actually, if we go across to the high woods. Let's jump across the high woods now. Mix it up a bit. Let's put the close mics in and let's go straight to those mordants. Check this out. And then the whole tones. <laughs> so that's one of my favorite bits. Okay, short notes while we're in uh, Woods High. And let's just have a look through to new toes. Stack Mose. Again, we've got the tongued, oh, flutter swarm like this one. Air swarm. Some 
cool stuff in there. Clarinet Whisper Swarm. Whispers. Some lovely stuff in there. The combos. And again, our mordants, which we had a look at at the beginning. So let's jump across to Woods Low and then we'll go back to the brass. Um, so uh, some good stuff here. So slap stack mows. We've got our bassoon pops. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to take the reverb off so you can hear that. Love that. That is a crazy sound. Uh, let's put the close mics in. Let's go for our tenutos. Flutters. Sparse swarm staccatos. Let's put some short room in. And the combo swarm, let's put the longs in. stuff in there um so let's go and look at brass now brass is a very specific one orchestration thing with two sounds in it um again this is one of those things where where we had a very specific idea of what we wanted to achieve and it was for a very specific type of sound and that sounds like this <laughs> So you get the idea, and then there's the kind of reverse of that. And that is uh, just the diminuendo version instead of going, instead of them being a kind of crescendo swell, it's a diminuendo swell, um, or whatever the inverse of the word swell is. Reduction of some kind. So let's have a look at the horns. Uh, we'll do the tonitos first of all as well while we're there. I'm muted. Our stack most swarm. Flutters. Tonguing. Um, and let's just jump in. We'll put in our close mic and turn the reverb off. So you can hear there slightly more clearly what's going on. We've got our mordants here as well. And our whole tone. And then we've got our shorts. So put a bit of splosh. So you get the idea. Right, um, let us look into the advanced section. And I'll show you just briefly what's in here. So as you can see, you've got all of the individual swarms here 
So if you wanted to load up just one, for example, here, and we set up a nice mic mix. So we've got uh, just on its own our short spiccatos. And again, whack all of that off, maybe just a tad of room. Um, a bit more. So that's the individual articulations for the sections. And then if we just load in, just for fun, all verb off, and let's have a listen to all of our strings together. bit of sploshy splosh. So you can hear there, you know, it's, it's nice and easy to kind of use to get a kind of pattern going. You've got the full palette of the orchestra there to use with the short notes to get some kind of motion going and then you can start to feed in your swarm sounds in there as well. It's another way to use it. Um, so it's a really wide palette of sounds and it was very, very exciting working with the guys at Bleeding Fingers um, on this project, uh, Blue Planet 2. And I hope you've probably heard the Radiohead track by now, but it's um, again, really, really exciting. And you can hear, there's a couple of videos on YouTube um, interviews where they break the track down and you can hear some of the swarm elements um, which they colloquially referred to as the tidal orchestra during the sessions because of the obviously the tides of the ocean and um, and yeah you can you can hear that as it's used within the radio head track and how they've kind of used it as a kind of bedding to sit everything else on top a really wonderful piece of work really really beautiful track so thank you very much for watching hope you're going to have a lot of fun with the orchestral swarm and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one thanks very much bye bye